You're listening to 96.9 FM, your one-stop shop for rocking the cog. Up next, an extra special interview with the one and only Spice of 3B. So don't turn that dial. We'll be right back after these messages. Introducing Darkwood's new Mind Mellows, a cereal like no other, designed to satisfy your deepest, most delicious craving. Well, hey there, DJ Dude. Thanks for letting me in. Take a deeper thing and just let it all out. Why don't you give me a grin if you want to spin and shout? <laughs> Good. I should have warmed up before I did that, but I didn't know when I would get another chance to get in here. I've been listening to your show for a while and knew you'd like to break for lunch around now. Speaking of which, uh, how much time do I have? Okay, we have a few minutes. (laughs) Well, I guess I don't gotta introduce myself, but uh, let's go through the formalities anyway. So, I'm Kai Tide music prodigy and glam punk megastar. I know, I know, I'm kind of a big thing right now. And I know what you're thinking. What am I doing on a man-made island created by a sauces hell corporation? Well, that's for me to know and for you to find out. Anyway, right, you know who I am, and as I've said, I know who you are. (laughs) Yup. I'm a bit embarrassed to say this, but uh, I'm actually kind of a fan. I really appreciate you promoing my music, dude. Do you have any idea how many brainwashed grunts? <laughs> my fans, that's what I call my fans, I got from that broadcast. Like a lot. Like more than I can count on my hands, dude, it's crazy. And I don't mean to jerk my ego too much, but uh, me and the boys are proud of how the Grin single turned out. It's probably one of the uh, the best songs I've composed in my career. Do you have a favorite part? Most fans do. Come on, don't be like that. Tell me, didn't it feel so good when that beat started pounding around inside your head? Wasn't it amazing when I started shredding my guitar while the bass line throbbed underneath it? And when I started singing, Didn't you feel such fantastic pleasure? Like some long-forgotten piece of your soul was unearthed by the trembling sound of my voice. Yeah, I think that was your favorite part, wasn't it? You loved it when I started singing. You love when I sing, period. But you especially loved it when you heard me sing the first time. And why wouldn't you? So many fans tell me my voice sounds like falling in love for the first time ever, over and over again. And you can't deny it. I made you feel something real. I can see it in your eyes. They're so vacant. So, um, there is something I have to tell you. I may have accidentally called your program director and pretended to be Spice of 3V's agent in order to get an interview with you. Are you mad? You sure? That's a relief. Thanks for being so gracious and forgiving, my dude. You're an absolute legend. And so much more chill than your PD. Like, holy shit, does that dude have a stick up her ass or what? I'm way cooler than any of those sellouts 3V. And so much more relevant to your program. But no, I'm a public menace and a danger to society. And broke countless FCC regulations. (laughs) Hell yeah, I did, dude. And you know what? I'd fucking do it again in a heartbeat. No questions asked. Uh, what was I talking about? Oh, yeah. So, I was thinking, I want to make some, uh, reparations. You know, make it up to you for committing identity theft. Why don't you 
get me an interview. I mean, I may not be a superstar spice of 3V, but tell me, Mr. DJ, does Spice have a singing voice that critics call literally hypnotic? <laughs> Don't answer that. Hmm. What? Why are you gawking? Oh, the broken FCC regulations? Well, uh, I may have added some binaural beats and hypnotic conditioning into the song. Nothing major. I'm not taking away anyone's free will. I'm just... Taking their, uh, making it easier to, huh, you know, there's no way to phrase this in a way that's ethically sound. Hey, just where do you think you're going? Hey, what's the deal? You know what you got into. I know this looks bad. You can trust me through and through. I've never used my power for bad. Well. There was the time I considered hypnotizing the board at my old label just to get out of a contract. Or the time I tranced a cafe of people to be groupies. A few days ago, I almost started a turf war at a karaoke bar. Okay. Uh, so around uh, a year ago, I think it was, my doc discovered polyps on my vocal cords. I thought my career was over, dude. Sure, you can get surgery, physical therapy, and shit. But your voice never sounds the same after a surgery like that. Lo and behold, my label swoops in with an all-expenses-paid trip to some seedy-as-hell black market hospital in China. They put this chip in my throat and, hey, hey, I'm being serious here. Okay, you want proof? When I pinch the skin above my Adam's apple and pull, You'll see a green blinking light where my trachea is. And that's the chip's all clear sign. See? So, everything seems fine. Until I find out that the only reason my label did all this for me was because they wanted to use my talent to sell merch. Yeah. They wanted to use my voice against my will to subliminally influence my fans that the blockchain was a good idea. Makes me sick to my stomach. But that got me thinking. If they can use my voice to hypnotize people, that means I can hypnotize people too. So I got a hacker to jailbreak my vocal cords. Next thing you know, bada bing, bada boom, I'm here, an independent artist ready to break into the mainstream. And I'll let you in on a little secret, DJ dude. Just you and me, completely off the record. Come closer. 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 There are things happening behind the scenes in this city you couldn't begin to imagine. A scientist gone mad with power. Old soldiers performing pantomime coups. A witch granting wishes for terrible prices. And the big man himself that runs the game. All of them are in it for themselves. But not me. Not me, my friend. I'm in it for everybody. I'm here to create a paradise. A forever show. A party that doesn't end. The streets will flow with kegs of craft beer and whiskey. Furs of all shapes and sizes will be free to openly indulge in their deepest desires. Without fear or shame or rejection. Doesn't that sound wonderful? Doesn't that sound like heaven? Hmm? <laughs> Did you spill cream in your lap? Or are you just happy to see me? <laughs> if any of that is to happen, though, I need allies in high places. And that's where you come in. See, at the end of the day, this has always been more than getting an interview. I think you've realized this by now, even in your incapacitated state. <laughs> I need a loyal friend who can help me out here. And loyalty to me comes with big rewards. Let me give you a taste. Do you feel those muscles inflating? 
You have a choice right now, DJ Dude. A choice very few get a chance to make. Either be my puppet and resume playing my music, no matter what that pesky programming director says. Or refuse and, uh, well, you're gonna be coming back to my HQ with a whole new makeover. So, what's it gonna be? <laughs> I knew you were a sensible one. And don't worry about that programming director. I'll have a talk with her after we're done in here. Speaking of which, I think we're on in 10 seconds, so, uh, wake up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 